<laughs> Ooh, guess gotta throw it on here. Hello, Candorous. Yeah, what do you want? God, you're so mean. It's like you're a Mandalorian or something. Oh, wait. I don't know if you have any more war stories. I was one of the best youth warriors in the Clan Ordo in my, my time. No one before me had mastered the power of our Basilisk war droids as quickly as I had. Except hmm. Mandalore himself, of course. Oh, really? In those days, we were sweeping across the Outer Rim, destroying all who fought us. Good the times! The Mandalores would prove themselves in real combat with unknown opponents above a thousand worlds. Each brought back stories of his achievements. Yeah, I love the Mandalorians. Sort of. Uh, uh, what was your story? I remember it well, orbiting high above a placid world. Its defenses just stirring. As was tradition, I would go ahead of the first wave to find enemies in the thickest fighting. Oh, really? I remember sitting there in my armor. Linked directly with a basilisk thrumming beneath me. My heart racing with fear of the coming battle. Uh, I didn't think Mandalorians got afraid. Every new warrior has to fear to understand how to beat it. You must know that. True that. The doors opened in front of me, and the air was sucked out of the drop base, scattering crystals of frozen vapor across my path. Hmm. I can't describe what it feels like to look directly down at a world, falling continuously as you circle it, with barely 15 centimeters of armor plate protecting you. Ugh. When the magnetic locks disengaged on my droid, I plunged out of the drop bay towards the battle that waited below. <laughs> you dropped from orbit riding a droid? That's fucking awesome! The exhilaration, the euphoria I felt, as I streaked into the atmosphere, dodging self-guided projectiles and beam weapons, was unmatched. An 80-kilometer plunge through the atmosphere, dodging and weaving, the outside of my armor glowing like the sun with the heat of re-entry. And with barely 30 meters to spare, I twisted and skimmed the surface, firing at the giant beam generators that were in my path. Woo! The explosion from that sent shock waves that leveled the entire complex around it. It was the moment of my life. I would like to point out that, uh, and b by the time you guys see this video, this comment will be old, I suppose. But, uh, the guy I was doing this Let's Play for, uh, buddy of mine, Seiji, uh, he related Kendra's Ordo to uh, being like Duke Nukem, only awesome. And you know what? It's fucking spot on. Kandris Ordo is the man. Uh, it's, it was so hard to not take him. I really wanted to take him this time, but I was like, well, I need a mission, and she's adorable anyway. In HK47, I had never taken him before. I heard he was hilarious, and he hasn't disappointed. <laughs> I want a Basilisk War droid. <laughs> I'm going to say that. I'll never forget those times. But things are different now. We can't go on fighting the way we did. There are too few of us left now. Relatively. But I really don't want to talk about this anymore. I trust I've satisfied your curiosity for now. Yes, sir. Is there something else you want to know? Need more. Can you tell me anything about this world? Korriban is a Sith world, that's for sure. I mean, just look at this place. Rumor has it that the leader of our clan at the time, Mandalore, did go down. They say the Sith performed terrible magics here. Do you have anything else you want to ask? Interesting. What if you have any more war stories? You want another war story, huh? You want to hear about some other world getting wasted, huh? Yeah. I knew you were the type. Oh, wow. Your stagnant republic has never seen some of the strange creatures and races we fought on the Outer Rim in those years. <laughs> and you never will now. Hooray for genocide! Uh, what do you mean? If a world isn't strong enough to defend itself, it's basically forfeit. But this story is about something a little different. Oh, really? We were going through the asteroid fields of the Crispin system at the very edge of the galaxy, playing with the pirates and smugglers we found there. The main belt in the Crispin system consists of mainly small rocks covered in frozen methane gas shells. And the pirates were using them for cover. Methane, eh? 
I remember using a thermal generator to cause the outer layer of one of the asteroids to vaporize in a picosecond. It blew hmm. out and shredded the three smugglers using it for cover. But <laughs> that was a mistake. Err. Uh, <laughs> you made a Lawrence never were too smart. Uh, why? What happened? The asteroid I had targeted was smaller than most, maybe a dozen meters on a side. On the outside, it looked the same as any other. Just a ball covered in frozen gas. But something must have been inside it. Something inactive in the cold. The heat of my blast might have triggered something or woken something up. Wow. After I'd hit it, spots of light and heat appeared all over the thin shell, still covering it, evaporating the gases. What lay underneath looked like some sort of rocky growth. A deformed rock pitted by scores of micrometeorite scars. I think something even older might have been inside that. Uh, uh, an asteroid? Maybe, but maybe not. It started rotating faster and faster as we watched it. After a second, it started spraying fire, thermal projectiles that melted our armor like wax. We were caught completely by surprise. Oh dear. Before we could counterattack, it fled at an incredible speed. Er, uh, a ship? We couldn't catch it, but we could follow its hyperspace wake. We followed its trail as far as we could, heading away from the galactic core. When it finally led beyond the edge of our galaxy, we abandoned our efforts. Oh, wow. Anything that wants to commit suicide in that great void is not worth our trouble trying to catch. That's the only story I have for now. I'll tell you some more stuff later if we get the chance. Sweet. Is there something else you want to know? Cool story, bro. Uh, nothing more for now. Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. Yeah. Let's try again. Yeah, what are you... Uh, any more stories? I don't have as many strange stories like the last one I told you. But I do have a couple about me and the stuff I've done. Oh. In one battle above the world of Althea, my, my unit managed to defeat a force of Althea ten times our own size. That battle gained me command of an entire subsect of my clan. Nice. Tell me the story. For five days, they had managed to hold off our forces keeping us to the outer rings of their world, preventing us from attacking it directly. My task was to assault one of their flanks with a false attack. The Altheory would be drawn out by the units I had sent in. Oh. Once they had surrounded those units, the bulk of my forces would attack from the rear and defeat them in detail. Uh, his theory don't seem too bright. They weren't stupid. Stupid races don't make stupid starships and weapons of mass destruction. But they weren't masters of the arts of war as the Mandalorians are. Hmm. Things didn't go as I had planned. I saw an opening. A mistake they had made in the disposition of their forces and took it. While fending off our main force, they had let their fleet split in two. The center of their entire fleet was left exposed. Oh, no. I turned my forces and assaulted the center of their fleet decimating them. Uh, you were a great warrior, Candrus. Their slow, ponderous ship could not turn to face us without being overwhelmed. Their command vessels were destroyed in seconds. Their ranks were thrown into chaos. It was amusing to watch the surviving ships scatter and flee. Hmm. Several even tried to dive through the plane of the rings to escape us. They were shredded by the rings or crashed into rocks or were destroyed Damn by phone. our forces as we pursued them. Warriors do not flee from a battle if they are losing. They fight to the end, as we did against your Jedi Revan. Another oh, time, really? maybe, I'll tell you about how the war with the Republic went. For now, let's just get on with things. I bet mean, that's a touchy subject. To know? What do you guys think? Here's some drill stimulants. <laughs> stimulants make a warrior out of even the weakest human. Here's a speed-boosting stimulant to help you get quicker. There anything else you need? Here in Mandal here, here in Mandalorian what's their plan called? Is it just called Mandalorian? I don't know. Whatever. Here in that place, we shoot up more war stories? Hmm. I think I'll tell you a bit about the recent war we Ooh. had with the Republic. That might be more familiar to you. 
The one yep. where Jedi Revan beat my people. We started by conquering worlds outside the Republic. We did it quietly so the Republic wouldn't really know what was going on until it was too late. Quietly, he says. We finally did hit the Republic worlds. They had no idea we were coming. We came in through three invasion corridors in adjacent sectors. Anyone who put up a fight, or wouldn't fight, was crushed. We raised whole worlds trying to provoke the Republic into fighting us. That was smart. I don't particularly enjoy wiping out worlds for its own sake, but the cowardly tactics the Republic defenders used left us little choice. Um, no honor in defending themselves? Hiding in the homes of civilians, using oh. families as shields, yeah, that's thinking they would not use appropriate force on their bases inside major cities. They underestimated our resolve and what measures are acceptable in war. Those who cannot defend themselves should not be around those who can in battle. If annihilating a city is the kind of power it takes to overwhelm a Republic shield device, then that's what we did. Necessary force to destroy all opposition. Well, gee. But killing people is wrong. It's wrong to hide with shields surrounding you, ho hoping the enemy will be so good as to throw themselves at your feet to be slaughtered. What I have about no that? time or patience for cowards. They deserve to be hunted down and exterminated like vermin. Whoa, calm There's down. No honor in wiping them out like rats. But some of your forces did redeem the Republic in our eyes, especially later. Oh, really? Later? Later, when Revan had joined the war. <clears throat> but we'll get back to that. We've wasted too much time already. Is there something else you want to know? Candorous. Give me more. <laughs> Here's a speed boot. Is there anything else? Uh, tell me more about the Mandalorian Wars. We fought against the Republic forces for some time, over the course of many battles. At the start, they were not much of a threat to speak of. But once the Jedi Revan took charge, things began to turn against us. The Republic mm. fleets began to use more than just basic tactics. Feints, counterattacks, mass deceptions. Revan was a genius on the field. Revan mm. abandoned worlds of their defenders so that others would be too fortified to strike and was willing to make sacrifices in order to advance goals. Mm. But in the end, Revan proved too much for us. Well, you, you couldn't have won against the whole galaxy. But it was close. So close. It looked like the entire galaxy was within our grasp. I still remember that final battle in the skies above Malachor V. The two fleets filling the space around it, outshining the stars. Ooh. What happened in the battle? It was not your ships, or your men, or your vaunted fight for freedom that won this, the final battle of the war. Oh? It was by the actions of one person, the Jedi Revan, that you prevailed. His strategies and tactics defeated the best of us. Even Mandalore himself was taken aback by the ferocity of his attacks, the tenacity of his defenses, and the subtleties of his plans. Hmm. He fought us to a standstill, and then began pushing back. We really didn't have a chance. Uh, why didn't you retreat? It was what we had wanted all along, in a way. We wanted to fight the best, in a battle that would be remembered for centuries. And we did. True that. And Revan won. I don't hold a grudge against Revan, and neither do any of my people. It was the greatest moment of my life to be in that battle. If Revan had been a Mandalorian, nothing in the galaxy would have stopped us. True but that. wishing for the past to be different is useless. Better look to the future, as we should now. We'll talk more later, I think. Is there something else you want to know? Mm, what do you do? Your choice. Anything. What I receive. Um. New items. Oh, um. Uh, stuff. Yeah. Yeah, what do you. Shut up. <laughs> Have we seen all these gifts on the ship? So deal with it. Why are you asking me about it? Well, gee, I thought you'd be helpful. Yeah, you I think alright. I said anyway. The war we had with the Republic was supposed to be the most 
glorious battle in our history. But it was a very costly one. I guess we didn't think of how much we could lose in it. Well, duh. Uh, how much did you lose? There weren't many of us after that last battle. Mandalore himself was killed at the hands of the Jedi Revan. Ooh. The best of us could not defeat him. After that last battle, those of us that survived were stripped of our weapons, our armor, and our basilisks. Revan's forces destroyed them while we were forced to watch. Those who hadn't fled earlier were left with nothing to call their own. No weapons, no armor, only the honor of having fought in the battle we just lost. For many, this was not enough. While the rest of us were sent into exile on the, the Outer Rim, they tried to relive the old days, raiding worlds. They're nothing more than bandits now. Yeah. And you eventually came to Terrace. Yeah, I came to Terrace. And forcing for Davik was not stimulating. The gangs on Terrace and Davik's rivals were trash. They give no thrill in battle, no honor or glory in defeating them. It was like stepping on bugs. I sought worthy challenges, but the best that Terrace could offer were nothing to me. But I think now, with you, I may finally find opponents worth fighting. Uh, I am honored. Maybe later I'll tell you more about what it was like to work for Davik. For now, though, we should get on with our lives. Is there something else you want? That's more mysterious than fighting Revan in the fucking Republic. Your choice. We got anything else to say? Yeah. What are you? Uh, that's it. Your choice. Yes. Okay. So what's this new journal entry? Talk to him more later, eh? All right. Um. Might be a decent stopping point. Hello, Mission. Do you have anything else hey to say? What? Uh, talk about your brother? Maybe if we get these tat glands for him, things will work out. Or maybe he'll finally see the light and turn over a new leaf. I know it's not likely, but it's all I have to hope for. Uh, maybe. Damn it. Okay, we can finally come to her little conclusion later. Maybe. Uh, Giska. I don't know if they actually do anything or not. Like, good or bad. So, uh... Oh, oh. God. Thought something bad was gonna happen. Ah, get out of my way! Um... Yeah, okay. Uh, let's save here. Whoa, whoa, not load here. That's not load here at all. Um, save. And I think we'll go ahead and call that a block for now. And, uh, so yeah, thank you folks for watching. And when we return, Kashik, Kashik, whatever. Later.